What's up everybody, this is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. What I'm going to be making today is going to be a spaghetti squash casserole. To begin this, what I did was I took a spaghetti squash, a small to medium size, cut it in half, threw it on a sheet pan in the oven with a little bit of water covering about one eighth of an inch, put it on 350 degrees for about 10 minutes or until it was tender, then I scooped it out with the fork, which is what I have here. So that's how I started that. We're going to save these for later because our casserole is going to go in these shells. So our first ingredient obviously is going to be the spaghetti squash. I have fresh spinach, sliced mushrooms, flour, diced onions, about a teaspoon of garlic, some mozzarella cheese, and some whole milk. So our first step in this is going to be to get our sauce made. So I'll see you over at the stove. Our first step in this is going to be to make a, basically a bechamel sauce. So I've started off with some oil in this pan. Now I'm going to hit it with some flour. I will have the ingredients and directions in the description. And we are just going to make kind of a little roux out of this. And a roux is basically a cooked flour and oil mixture. It could be either light or dark. In this case, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a pretty light roux. I just want the flour taste cooked out of it. So, this is our first step. I'm gonna let this cook for about another minute, and we'll be on to the next step. My roux had a chance to cook down about a minute. I'm going to go ahead and throw my onions in now. Just to get them cooked down in this roux a little bit. And we're going to let this go. For about four minutes. Cook down about four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add my milk. Now I have my milk as close to room temperature as I could get it with the amount of time I had you know I did uh, just get home from work so anyway what we're gonna do is stir this in and this is gonna start getting if I can quit getting everything all over the damn place this is gonna start getting a little thick which is what we want I'm also gonna go ahead and start adding my mushrooms to this so they can start getting cooked down. And I'm going to probably cook this for about 20 minutes. I'll keep an eye on the thickness. We're going to want this to be almost like a, a gravy kind of a consistency. So it's going to take a bit of time for this. So I will finish doing this and I'll meet you back when this portion is done. So we are getting pretty thick right here. So I'm going to go ahead and toss in my garlic now. I didn't toss that in earlier because it has a tendency to stick at the bottom of the pan if you put it in a little too early. So I got my garlic in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and start adding my spinach. And this is going to thin this sauce out a little bit. So this sauce actually is really thick right now. So this spinach is going to cook down going to add a little bit of liquid to the sauce and then we'll adjust the sauce as we need to. Once that's cooked down then we're going to season it and we're going to add our spaghetti squash to it. So our spinach is cooked down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and season it up a little bit. I have seasoned with whatever spice you want but I have something that's called a mushroom hunt seasoning. I don't really know what's in it. The ingredients are really small on it. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. I just know that tastes good. But choose whatever you want. Salt, pepper, whatever. I'm going to mix that in. It's still going to get thicker. It did get a little bit uh, runnier once I put the uh, spinach in. I'm going to hit it with some of this mozzarella cheese. So I'm really wanting this to kind of thicken up. Once it gets thickened up, 
I will go ahead and add our uh, spaghetti squash to it and then we'll get it into the shells and into the oven. Cheese is kind of melted in here and it's starting to get a little bit thicker. Now here's the here's what we're going to need to do. Here's how much spaghetti squash I have. Here's how much sauce I have. So I have more sauce than is what's needed for this uh, spaghetti squash. So what I'm going to do is after about five more minutes I'm going to take this mixture and I'm going to divide it in half. I'm going to put half of it in a bowl and then I'm going to mix it with the spaghetti squash just to make sure that we have the right balance. Then I'll fill the uh, shells and then bake it. This sauce can be used for a whole bunch of other stuff so if I have some left over I'll just freeze it and use it for something later. I've separated some of this sauce out. I'm going to go ahead and add my spaghetti squash in here. And if we need more sauce, we have enough to add some in. I think I have about another pint or so, but this looks like it's working out just right. Alright, so that's what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and start filling these. Shells right quick. It's just perfect. All right, that's done. Just gonna go ahead and hit these with a couple slices of cheese each. And then we are gonna throw these in the oven at about 350. They don't need to be in there long, just long enough for this cheese to kind of melt on there. And we should be good to go. Off to the oven. Squash casseroles had a little bit of a time to uh, rest for a while, about 15 minutes, probably could go a little bit longer. Here's kind of what we're looking like, but I think I'll put a picture up so you can see that a little bit better. Let's dig in and see what we're working with. Get this cheese back up in here. some good flavor definitely a different way than you would normally be eating a spaghetti squash I could probably rest about another 10-15 minutes it's a little hot but I like this recipe I think you should try it out if you like spaghetti squash at all anyway I do appreciate you stopping by Noe B barbecue comment Subscribe, and I'm out.